Okay, so my plan for today is to quickly show you how to convert any bitmap or JPEG file, any picture that is pixel-based into an SVG file using Inkscape, which is a free program. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to Google Images and just search for a picture I want. I'm gonna type in geometric animal design, black and white. And as you may have guessed from seeing my recent search history, I had this panda in mind. So go ahead and get your snipping tool from the taskbar. It's those little scissors. Select new, and then you're just gonna select a box over the panda. Say, come here, panda, and then you got him. So hit that save button and just save him in a file where you're gonna remember. I've named mine JPEG file. And I'm gonna name him GeoPanda. So you can close that box and you can minimize your browser and just pull up Inkscape. I'm not gonna dive into the fundamentals of Inkscape. There's plenty of other videos that do that. So quickly, we're just gonna pull up the folder where we saved Mr. Panda and just drag him straight into Inkscape. It's gonna give you an option to embed or link. I always do embed once again. Not gonna go into detail here. Either one's fine. Hit okay, and there he is. You can kinda of drag him up towards the top left corner. That way we don't waste too much material. And you can see if I make him too big, like all pixel-based pictures, uh, he's going to get a little fuzzy. So I'm going to show you how to convert them. First, we're going to select Mr. Panda. We're going to go up to the top where it says Path and Trace Bitmap. And this window is going to pop up. So you might have to fool around with it a little bit, but the only thing you really need to change right here is threshold. For a simple black and white photo, I have the most luck taking it up to about 0.7. And I make sure to check the box at the bottom that says Remove Background. And then all you're going to do is hit Update and it's gonna show you a preview of your SVG file and select OK. After you hit OK, uh, you'll see that the picture went black and that's because the SVG file is saved right on top of the bitmap file. So you can go ahead and select the bitmap file and delete it. And then here's your SVG file. No matter how big or small you make this photo, it's not gonna become pixelated or fuzzy because it's all math based. Uh, it's gonna scale perfectly regardless of the size. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change mine to the, the size panda I'm going to want to cut out with my shaper origin, make them 16 by 14. Go ahead and use your arrows to bump them around as you see fit, or just select the whole thing and drag it. Once you're happy with your selection, let's go ahead and hit file, save as, and then you can just select the folder uh, of your preference. I'm going to name mine Geo Panda again. I'm going to make sure I save him in my same woodworking folder. So my shaper origin folder, bitmap folder, JPEG folder and save them in there, like I said, as Mr. Mr. Geo Panda. From here on out, you're gonna be able to either use your Wi-Fi to drop this SVG file onto your Shaper Origin, or you can use a thumb drive to physically move it from your computer to the Shaper Origin. In a follow-on video, I'm gonna show you how I actually cut this shape out. Uh, as I'm speaking, it's September, and my Shaper Origin doesn't show up till January. As you can tell, I'm pretty excited, uh, but I wanted to get this information out and make sure people know how to do it. That way they can leverage the full uh, capability of this tool once they get it in their hands. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye.